Hey people, it's me again. I'm up. <laughs> it's 2.23 a.m. in the morning. And I had a question, or this is going to be like a mirror type thing that I'm going to go through right now. Because I'm, I'm sitting right here in front of my mirror. I'm looking at you guys in the camera, but this is the mirror over here. And... Have you guys ever ended a relationship based on certain um, issues, issues that you didn't really agree with, that you feel that you didn't do, or, you know, you felt like you did your best, but your ex always says things of the nature of, you know, you're the problem, um, You'll never find someone like me. You're only a pretty face. Um, you'll never find anybody that will do the things that I was willing to do for you. And at the end, when you're fighting, you say to this person, um, I'm worthy. You say these words to the person, I'm worthy. And I know I will find someone that will treat me good and love me for me, and see me beyond a pretty face, whatever. Um, but sometimes when you go to the next relationship, those words come back to haunt you because sometimes you find yourself in the same situation. And like I said in another video, when you find yourself in the same situation or something similar, where you're facing the same questions, you have to look into the mirror <laughs> and say, what's up? What's going on? So, um, do these words necessarily carry weight? You know, or is it just because maybe, you know, you're in a low point or in an uncertain point in the relationship, maybe those words just pop up to the surface. You know what I mean? Um, I wonder. I say that I know my worth. I say that I know what it is that I want. But sometimes those words that my ex used to say to me all the time sometimes pop up to the surface. Um... Does this happen to you guys? You have like a um, a moment, like a weak moment or something? Well, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And um, I just wanted to get it out there. <laughs> just get it out of my system because that's what's been on my mind. And um, I don't know. I always have this thing, and I said this in another video as well, I always have this thing where I'm constantly looking back. I'm constantly looking back. And not looking back because I necessarily want to jump back, because <laughs> I definitely don't want to jump back, but looking back to see what it is that I did wrong, um, and how I may be repeating those things now. So, in a way it's good, but in, it's, in a certain way it's like beating yourself up, and sometimes it can be torturous to yourself. So, I don't know. So I guess I'm just, I usually do this all the time, where I like analyze a situation, and I some, sometimes I do it in the mirror, sometimes I don't. It just, just try to pick away at the situation. And um, I guess I'm doing it via video this time. <laughs> Let me see how much time I'm using up. Okay, that's all I really wanted to uh, ask you guys. Have you ever just found yourself constantly looking back and wondering if you're repeating yourself, you're repeating yourself? Because, you know, like it said, I, I think 
I think this may be in the Bible. I don't know if I'm paraphrasing, but you, you, the lesson you will get, you will constantly get the same lesson, maybe in different ways, until you get it right. You know what I mean? So, um, just wanted to get that out there, because it's on my mind, and it's 2.28 now, and I can't get to sleep and all, doing makeup and doing tags and and all types of things, so, <laughs> just let me know what you guys are thinking, comment, hit me with a private message, whatever, talk to me people, okay, night, night, bye-bye.